Cloud Techs Club. So today I'm going to show you a mind-blowing tool from Google Cloud that is uh, KubeCTL AI. Uh, basically this tool lets you control the Kubernetes using the plain text English. So no long KubeCTL commands you need to learn. Uh, no complicated syntax need to be remembered. Just tell Kubernetes what you want exactly and the AI writes the command for you. So let's go ahead and deep dive into this. So first, what exactly is a kubectl AI? Uh, it's an open source kubectl plugin basically created by uh, uh, Google Cloud. Instead of typing the long kubectl commands, uh, like uh, kubectl apply hyphen f and uh, you provide the image name uh, and the version tags so instead you can simply type something like hey kubernetes uh, just list out all my failed nodes into the cube system namespace it will give you the output according to it because the kubectl understands your english and uh, know how to convert it into the correct kubectl commands and uh, runs it for you in the background so now let's go ahead and uh, install it uh, the installation is uh, very simple for the kubectl ai let's go ahead and do it okay so i'm going to run the command so after installing uh, you need to set up something called the Gemini API key. I have already set up that in the background. Now you are ready to use the kubectl AI with the Gemini. So let's start with a simple test. We will run the kubectl AI with the Gemini model. So let me clear the screen first. I'm going to write the kubectl Gemini model command here. Okay. Now let's try some prompts to test the kubectl AI. Uh, so let me give it a quick prompt here. Uh, I'm going to create deployment using a name called Nginx uh, with uh, three replicas using the Nginx uh, latest image. Uh, let's try to do it. Let's give it handle. Okay, so it is asking, please specify the namespace where you want to create the deployment. I am going to create it into the uh, namespace uh, Ulama, which I created earlier for my one of the videos. Within name space Ulama. Let's see if it can able to create it okay now it is showing me uh, do you want to proceed I'll give it a choice as one okay it has executed it now I'm going to see all my ports which are running within my Olama namespace let me write it here list all ports in the Olama name space all right so it it's showing me the nginx uh, one two three which i requested for and uh, one for olama which i created earlier now if you want to expose the deployment nginx which you created uh, let's try to expose that with the help of load balancer 
now expose the deployment nginx created let's see what it does i need to know how you want me to expose the deployment do you want it as a cluster ip node port or load balancer i'll give it here the load balancer it is asking me uh, to confirm i'll hit yes one okay now it says i have exposed the nginx deployment as a load balancer service on port 80 in the olama namespace and it has run this command in the background now if you want to scale up or scale down the deployment pods within the uh, olama namespace for nginx you can do it from here directly now let's run here now scale i'm going to scale down okay that's fine the deployment pod sorry for the typo let's see if it can do it okay it's asking for the confirmation and that's it it's done let's go ahead and list all pods in the olama name space again for the last time okay now i can see uh, one nginx pod and one olama pod which are we created earlier so and that's the kubectl ai for you uh, it is very simple powerful way to manage the kubernetes using the natural language uh, thanks for watching uh, if this helped you don't forget to hit like share and subscribe for more kubernetes ai content uh, drop your doubts in the comments i'll reply to everyone uh, see you in the next video